welcome to Triple S's top 3 video games. I'm your host Triple S. In this video I'll be going through my top 3 favourite video games. Which is to say, this is my personal top 3. Obviously, your opinion may differ. So it's to say like, Crackdown 2 or 1, whichever one, is not number 1. Then please don't leave hateful comments. It's all, you know, my opinion, your opinion. So yeah. And with that, let's begin. At number 3 is Fallout 3. Created in 2008 by Bethesda Game Studios, Fallout 3 is an open world post apocalyptic action role playing game set in America in an unknown area known as the Capital Wasteland. The story begins with the character of the Lone Wanderer living in Vault 101. When at 19 he escapes to search for his father who had also escaped not long before. An epic journey then begins as he travels across the wasteland discovering amazing locations, survivors and from the war and deadly mutated creatures. Fallout 3 was one of the first open world games I ever played and after getting past the character creation and tutorials and finally getting out of the vault into the wasteland, I couldn't believe my eyes. The landscapes of the game were absolutely amazing with incredible locations such as Megaton and Rivet City. And along with this, the game is set in 2277, but the culture is out of the 1950s with their views of the future such as like hover cars, robots, laser weaponry and other such things. The game also possesses a star studded cast with Ron Perlman, aka Hellboy, returning as the narrator who was in the previous Fallout games, Malcolm McDonnell, aka Dr. Loomis, in the Halloween remake as the Enclave president, John Henry Eden, and the cream of the crop, Liam Neeson, as the Lone Wanderer's father. This, together with the plot, scenery, and setting, creates just such an amazing game. My number two is Call of Duty World at War. Created by Cherak in 2008, World at War is a World War II first person shooter placing you in the shoes of both an American and a Russian soldier in several memorable battles, such as the Battle of Peleliu, I believe it's said, and the Battles of Stalingrad. As I have a strong interest in World War II, this game was a must buy for me with the chance to take part in epic historical battles fighting evil Nazis. That being said, in game you don't play as a British guy, but as the Russian soldier Dmitry Petrenkov fighting the Nazis, and as the American soldiers Private C. Miller and Petty Officer Locke, for one level, fighting the Japanese. The game is incredibly realistic and disturbingly so in most cases, mainly with the Japanese. I hate fighting against the Japanese because of how freaking terrifying and realistically they are presented, and they actually do scare me quite a bit. Moving on, the cast contains several awesome actors, such as uh, Kiefer Sutherland, who is Jack Barr in 24, as Sergeant Roebuck, Aaron Stanford, who you will know as Pyro in X2 and The Last Stand, as Frank Polonsky, and Gary Oldman, who is Sirius Black in Harry Potter, and Jim Gordon in the Batman films, as Sergeant Victor Reznov. My face when I discovered that my favourite character was voiced by Sirius Black was a utter shock and joy that my love for Reznov in this game just went over 9,000. My personal number one video game is Halo 2. K2004 by Bungie Studios, it places the player back into the boots of Master Chief sporting new armour, and the game itself sports new gameplay mechanics, characters, weapons, vehicles, enemies, locations, and a new Halo ring. As well as once again playing as the Master Chief, the player also controls the Arbiter, the Covenant Elite, and gets a chance to see things for the first time from the Covenant's point of view. Halo 2 was the first first person shooter that I got incredibly invested in when I was a kid, and I have been a big fan of the series ever since. Starting from the second game made it a lot more interesting as I tried to piece together what had happened in the first game whilst playing it. Like there was a, why there was a war going on and why Master Chief was the only one in armour and what the hell was the Covenant all about with all the different alien races all working together to kill humanity. Along with this, sci-fi set in the alien enemies, the amazing weaponry, weaponry, vehicles and locations and the aggressive stories more than anything I could ask for in the game. Halo 2 boasts a strong cast with Steve Downs as the Master Chief, the actor Keith David from some such as uh, Volcano and Pitch Black as the Arbiter, and Jen Taylor, who is Princess Peach, Toad and Toad in numerous Mario games, and Zoe in the Left 4 Dead games as Cortana. Along with these awesome voices, the astounding musical talent of Marty O'Donnell, who created the iconic music of all the Bungie Halo games, and all in all, this places Halo 2 at my number one. So that was my personal top three video games, and here we are now at the end. My name is Triple S, I've been your host, goodbye.